After a month filled with excitement, hope and disappointments, Europe has got their best football team of 2024 and so has South America. Spain crowned themselves champions of Europe, having a perfect record through the tournament and ending it with a 2-1 victory over England. In South America, Argentina defended their Copa America title and defeated Colombia 1-0 in a game that ended in extra time. However, there were some teams and players specifically who showed some really disappointing performances in both respective tournaments. Sit back and let's go through some of the biggest disappointments starting with the Copa America. Brazil Brazil, the five-time World Cup champions, entered this Copa America as one of the heavily favoured favourites, with their squad brimming with talent and high expectations. The Seleção, known for their rich football heritage and flair, has the likes of Vinicius Jr, Rodrigo and Rafinha leading the charge. Fans and experts predicted that Brazil could once again win the Copa, but the reality was far from that. Their journey was a roller coaster of emotions, starting their tournament with a nil-nil draw against Costa Rica after only recording three shots on target the whole game. They improved against Paraguay, recording a 4-1 victory and ending the group stage with a one all draw against Colombia, ultimately making them ending in second in the group. A lackluster performance against a resolute Uruguay side saw them crash out in a penalty shootout, with many questions being asked to what went wrong in a tournament where they were supposed to be favourites. Uruguay This Copa America was also a bit disappointing for Uruguay fans for sure. The tournament started off on a promising note for La Celeste, finishing top of their group with 9 points and showing dominating performances when they scored 9 goals and only conceded 1. It surely looked up for Uruguay. Then they went on to eliminate Brazil after a 0-0 game that resulted in a shootout where Sergio Rochette was the hero. This victory against Brazil propelled them to become a force to win the tournament, but destiny had different plans for them. The semi-final against Colombia was a complete turnaround where Uruguay lost 1-0 to Colombia who played with only 10 men for a whole half. They couldn't take advantage of the extra man and couldn't overcome the deficit. Mexico Mexico arguably had one of the worst performances for a team that had expectations and ambition to do well in the Copa America. They started off with a 1-0 victory against CONCACAF rivals Jamaica but that was the highlight of the tournament for El Tri. The second game against Venezuela saw them lose 1-0 even after having more possession and shots. They struggled to break down Venezuela's resolute defence and the loss led them to have a win or go home game against Ecuador. The game against Ecuador almost had the same script as the one against Venezuela. More shots, more chances created and more possession but ultimately the game ended 0-0, resulting in their elimination from Copa America in the group stage. Now let's go through some of the players who had a disappointing Copa America. Santiago Jimenez, Mexico All eyes were on Santiago Jimenez for Mexico ahead of the Copa America. The 23-year-old scored 26 goals across all competitions for Feyenoord this past season and also bagged the winner of the CONCACAF Gold Cup final last year. The striker started all three group stage games for Mexico, but failed to record a single goal or assist in his 219 minutes played. L3 were depending on Santi to be the talisman leading the line, but ultimately he and his teammates fell short, only scoring once the whole tournament. Rodrigo, Brazil Due to his stellar performance for Real Madrid last season, the whole of Brazil was looking forward to seeing a great tournament from Rodrigo. He found the back of the net 16 times for Los Blancos across all competitions and tallied 8 assists. However, the Copa America was a different story for Rodrigo. In the four matches he played, Rodrigo recorded only two shots on target and never looked dangerous in the attacking third. Yet, he didn't play in his normal position that he does at Real, but it shouldn't be an excuse for such a talented player, surrounded by other great players, to have such a disappointing tournament. Vinicius Jr. Brazil The two-time Champions League winner came into the competition as the front-runner for the Ballon d'Or after his 24-goal season for Real Madrid, but failed to show up when it mattered for Brazil. Vinicius scored a brace against Paraguay, but that was his only success in the tournament. In the Celestown's other two group stage matches, Vinny was virtually invisible and did not generate many goal scoring opportunities. Not only that, but he earned a one game suspension in the last group stage match against Colombia, meaning he would miss the game against Uruguay in the quarter finals. Brazil would fall short against Uruguay, 
that could have ended differently had Vinny been on the pitch. Now let's shift our focus to Euros and the teams that underperformed. Italy. Italy's Euro 2024 campaign was a sobering reality check. The reigning champions entered the competition with a blend of youthful energy and season experience, fueling hopes of a deep tournament run. They started the tournament conceding within 23 seconds against Albania, but managed to turn that into a 2-1 victory, showing some resilience. However, against Spain, they looked lacklustre and got outplayed by the eventual winners, losing 1-0. And in their final group game against Croatia, they found themselves losing 1-0 until they equalised in the 95th minute, advancing them to the round of 16. But in the round of 16 against Switzerland, they got outplayed and were not dominant at all. Switzerland had their way against Italy's defence, scoring twice and keeping their net at zero, eliminating the defending champions. Now, let's go through some of the players with the disappointing Euros. Antoine Griezmann, France. Antoine Griezmann is the joint third highest goal scorer in Euros history. Unfortunately, the Atletico Madrid star failed to add a single goal in this Euros. He was far from his usual threatening self to France, drifting around the attacking third. It didn't help that Didier Deschamps kept shifting his position, but then he was likely doing that to try and shake Griezmann out of his funk. However, that didn't help him at all, and not so shockingly, he lost in the starting place in the semi-final against Spain. A not so memorable run for the Frenchman. Kylian Mbappe, France. For the second successive tournament, Kylian Mbappe failed to score in open play at the Euros. Yet, he was able to find the back of the net once but it was from the penalty spot. Well, he has a solid excuse. The nose injury he suffered against Austria at the start of the tournament. This definitely restricted Mbappe as he had to wear protective gear which he was not used to. This could explain how he was limited in creating chances as well as finishing them this tournament. Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal. Hailed as one of the GOATs, Cristiano failed to score at a big tournament for the first time in his career. His tears after missing a penalty against Slovenia showed his utter frustration. 23 shots and no goals. This stat is enough to say this was not Ronaldo's tournament. Many critics pointed out his insistence on taking shots and free kicks from unthinkable angles and distances, missing the target in the majority of them. There was a widespread feeling that Roberto Martinez was hung on gearing them towards creating chances specifically for him, which ultimately cost Portugal. In what was his last ever Euros, the multi-time Ballon d'Or winner made headlines for all the wrong reasons. Which player or nation do you think was the most disappointing in this international trophy campaign? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.